Queen 10 vs Recreation, αλλά I think I'm just gonna press call. Versus pot, I think we have a very clear call. I think Queen 10, 10 diamonds, I will start folding. Queen 10, Queen diamonds, I think I will press call. And uh, no folding. And uh, I think I can probably dunk. Yep, I think I will probably dunk. Hello guys, and back to another playing explaining video. Today we're gonna, gonna play mid stakes, 110 L zoom on poker stars. So let's jump into the action. Early hours in the morning, bad pool, a lot of regs. It's a great spot to make a video and uh, find some spots to discuss, I think. Versus 3x just max, 10-8 versus 2.5 mixes. Also, I have a note that 3x and that his 3x region is a bit strong. We get the 3-bet from a reg, from Greece, I believe. He's, yep. And I think my hand is a mix between call and 4-bet. Uh, Gonna 4-bet third of the time. Jack 10 offshoot, just max. Ten eight, I will have the time open it versus unknown. Six seven nine. It's a board that I will play mainly. I think have pot check and day seven. I will find some of the time blocking six seven shooted nine seven shooted around half. I think it's fine. And on the six uh, four eight, I'm just gonna check. This is no spade. Doesn't uh, want any protection. Versus two thirds, we we'll have a very clear call. And I think on the river, my hand will be a break even call. Especially on the two thirds. I don't believe I will fold. Derek will have a lot of uh, 5x in his range, 8x in his range, Jack 10. So I think we're just gonna press call. A recreational goes for the tank. So I think I'm just gonna call if he bets. If he checks, I'm gonna value bet. I don't believe he has a very strong range. Hello. So I think I'm gonna have pot. It's five suited, three beds, and the mostly uh, four bed jumps. Ace nine, gonna pure open uh, with recreation on the button. I think it's a high frequency open. I think it's around 80% of the time in my charts. And just folds. Get a limp from recreational. I believe. It's gonna check. Realize. Queen does douche. Bad board for his range. The douche checks region is very great for us. And if he checks, I think I'm just gonna bet my hand. I think I will double parallel this one. I don't believe he has a lot of queen x in his range. So I think I'm gonna size up. I think I'm gonna make an ace high to call here. So I think I'm gonna play b55, exploitable on the turn. I can even block. I think versus recreational, I'm just gonna triple for value this one now. Recreational doesn't want to fold. Asex region, especially Jap uh, mm, 
Sweden. Yep, I think I'm just gonna bet. I think we will get called a lot here uh, with A6 region. Uh, low frequency 3 bet King Queen. Okay, and he makes a mini raise. Well, very clear decision to fold our hand. Jack 3 5. I think he can range for. He can, he can high frequency 1 third, to be honest. He checks back. I think I will use overbet checks in this spot, and I think my hand will be pure check. I think we can start bluffing King Queen with a diamond with two overs on the jack, I believe. But in these positions, in this uh, case, we, we, will, we will have a lot of uh, other hands to be using. Spade, spade combos, diamond, diamond combos. And I think my hand uh, just uh, give ups. And I'm gonna use the King Queen with a diamond that I didn't uh, use the, uh, on the flop. And some uh, spade combos that I didn't uh, bet the turn. Also, I think uh, a lower uh, King, H, King X is better to make him fold uh, uh, King Queen, King 10. And 6 even versus 2.7. Can call. Aces, see some action, unfortunately, I think there is a lot of regs that play 200 also, I think the joker guy also plays uh, 200, pocket jacks, pure 3 bet. And versus 4 bet mainly jamming. 6 7 gonna be a mix between call, uh, raise, and fold. Ten high board. It's an okay board for us. We will start uh, defending hands like Jack 10 suited, King 10 suited, etc. I will mainly use large sizing, and I think my hand is a low frequency bet on the flop uh, with the uh, backdoor equity. We can't see bet it uh, that often, to be honest. But I think 10, the 5, the 8, and the diamonds we can go low frequency and uh, versus uh, the check raise from the big blind which is gonna mark and the thing I will bl bluffs uh, we can uh, start uh, bluffing a 4 start raising uh, start turning the 4 into a bluff multi-way because the 4 doesn't have uh, high showdown value multi-way and uh, Thus blocks a pocket force and some hero calls from the big blinds uh, range. Some ace force, uh, for example, because he wants to have ace four because it's our uh, mainly better hand that we can have. Because pocket tens, I think we three bet a lot, so we have pocket force in our range a lot. So he has to to block that. I think also this one just, just uh, give ups. We're gonna start uh, start uh, bluffing King Ten with a diamond, King Nine, Queen Nine, Queen Three, Jack Three. Just surrender. Also on the Ace, he has to do a lot of two thirds, and uh, he can bet uh, uh, that wide. So he will have uh, a lot of uh, Ace X in his range and the river. 9-3 um, Just mark Ace-5 we can consider opening but I don't have that many info for, from Baton so Jack the off should just max. I think for six suited we can make a touch of three bet with this combo. But I believe that 
it will be around from MP and turtle position, I think. I don't believe 4 6 it's a 3 bet. Mm, maybe it is. So he goes for the 2 3rd sizing, and versus 2 3rd sizing, uh, we can either check raise uh, this hand for semi bluff, blocking pocket force, and also have equity. We did it for 66. Um, on the 10th turn, I think I can play blocks and over bets. Blocks and two thirds. And I think my hand is an okay bet. I think I will bet it for a block. He doesn't have many 10x uh, combos in his range. So this hand uh, with two overs to the 10, uh, it's a great. Make him fold hands like King Queen. Yep, I think it's a more bottom of our. Uh, Bluffing range, queen-jack with no heart, with no club. A river I will have a block size and I think a pot size. I think my hand is checking. He will have hands like king-10 with a spade, king-jack with a spade also. The 6 doesn't block many bluffs, to be honest. I don't believe that my hand is a pure call, or I don't believe I can turn this hand into a bluff. I think I, I have to have the, the heart. Uh, he will have hands like King 6 of diamonds, so that bet check bets. 6 doesn't block any of his bluffs, though. Doesn't block either um, either value, to be honest. Uh, okay, I will do it for 50. Okay, fight the 9-8. I think it's a low frequency call. Maybe I, I call too much in this spot. But uh, when I call the two-thirds sizing, I think a lot of, my, of our queen X uh, will block. And the 6, it's a great unblocker, so... Okay, I think it's an overplay from his point of view, to be honest. Versus two uncapped ranges. I don't believe pocket queens uh, from middle position jumps. I think from cut off uh, jumps, cut off button a small blind. I think MP button small blind. I think it's a fold, but yep, with a 4 6 uh, suited hand, I think it's close between calling. We can make the, the argument that uh, he sibets a large on the flop, and a lot of his, the jack 10 region makes the straight. Mm, he has two big bet hands like king 2, king 3 that he will might not find. Ace king, it's a mix, low frequency 4 bet. Four six seven. I think it's not that bad. Early position versus big blind for big blind position. Because we don't have uh, that many of the sets. I think I will stop uh, a ton for a small size, and I think my hand will probably be a mix on the flop. He snap checks. I think I maybe pure check this one. Expect a lot of ace kings here, to be honest. Okay, let's check. Yep, I expect a lot of ace kings here, there. Hmm. Yeah, but uh, when he snap checks the turn, I think he's mainly range gonna be ace king and ace queen. So I think I will typically over bluff this spot and uh, bet all my ace queens. I think king queens.
2.2 I think just max Saints 9 versus middle position a lot of premiums AC stand board start range Bedford 20 King Windows range. Turn is the king. I will play two thirds. I think our bottom of our value range is gonna be a queen. I think it's close to bet the queen jack. He will have a lot of. Uh, he can have hands like Jack Nine. I will bet half the time. I uh, don't know if it's a, it's a value bet pure in these positions. Maybe we can make the the argument that uh, he snap checks. Ten five two versus recreational with King Nine. Oh, no backdoor, no equity. I think I'm gonna start with a check and uh, try to get the information about his range. Yep, I don't believe we we, we can uh, we have to put money out of position uh, with this, with this combo. I will start betting the king jack and the king queen with two overs. It's a uh, greater than king nine. Also, the five deuce, uh, ten five deuce board. It's not the greatest. So about this session, I think uh, maybe the 4-6 hand uh, was too wide to call 50% of the time. I don't, I don't believe that he will have a lot of faults to be honest. And also when the flash uh, comes on the river, I think we will even uh, have to uh, decrease our calling range with these combos. Queen 10 versus recreational, I think I'm just gonna press call. Versus pot, I think we have a very clear call. I think Queen 10, 10 diamonds, I will start folding. Queen 10, Queen diamonds, I think I will press call. And then no folding. And I think I can probably dunk. Yep, I think I will probably dunk. It's a very great... Uh, um, 10 for our range because we can't call a hand like 9 6 suited on the flop. We will only call a hand um, with a diamond, so the diamond is very great. And I think River, I think I'm just gonna overbet. I believe that uh, he can have. Uh, um, I believe he can't have uh, age without a diamond and I'm just gonna press call, we do lose to the 4-5 of diamonds. So, yep. Uh, it's uh, gonna be a mix, I'm gonna size down a bit. Yep. Uh, very, very interesting hunt with the uh, queen 10. Uh, from GTO point of view, I think I said can mix a lot of uh, low frequency three bets. Yep, uh, when we check all on that uh, board from for pot size bet, 
I think we will always call a hand like pair with a diamond. We can't call a hand like uh, nine eight with no diamond. Also, I think a lot of ASX uh, just fall, uh, just uh, mixes mixing fault on the flop because they can't uh, improve. So when the diamond comes, I think we have uh, it's very great board for our range, and I don't believe that the recreational will uh, find many bluffs, and I think that uh, he will start maybe folding some ASX on the turn without a diamond. So when he calls, I think he has a diamond and the recreationals uh, doesn't like to fold diamonds. In queen, it's a mix around half, half, I think. And here versus recreational. Size up a bit. He snap calls. Easy fold with king, queen, offshoot. Hmm. King 5-6. I think we can probably have some checks here, but I'm not so sure because uh, he will have fives and sixes high frequency. And we can't have fives, uh, fives and sixes. Um, so yeah, on the turn, I think I will play two thirds. I don't believe my hand bets. We do get value from pocket eights, pocket nines. Some seven eights. Uh, he can't check raise that often. Okay, I think I will bet a low frequency with his hand before 40, I guess. Very bad run out, to be honest. Very, very, very bad run out. And I think King Queen, no heart, just Mac. Yep, I think we can find uh, a value bet on the turn, but I don't believe. It's a half pot though and recreational. I'm gonna make the deviation and uh, call with a heart, maybe mix with a heart, but uh, no heart. I think it's uh, kind of wide to call. Uh, if you want, if you have a very strong read, uh, you can make the call there. But for the most of the part, I think uh, it will be a fault. So that was the video for today. Thanks for watching, guys. Until the next one. Take care.